Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon on the Mysterious JG. Um, so, uh, for those of you watching these as they go up, this will be like the second video of a weekend. But for me, I, I did one more video than I needed to the last time I sat down to record, so I'm starting a new session here. Um, while I'm thinking of it, a, a strange kind of thing I had on my mind playing the other day is that, uh, just throw out a quick... Shout out to someone who's been in the comments pretty consistently, Polar Dash. Uh, specifically, my comment, uh, I didn't know Polar Dash is a Let's Player. He's got Let's Plays on his own channel. And the reason it just struck me as like, oh, I should give him a shout out is I've been getting comments on and off on videos for a long time without knowing Polar Dash was a Let's Player because he's never made a comment, as far as I can recall, slyly inserting the fact that I've got Let's Play videos that people who are reading these comments section might be interested in too. So, yeah, that's actually cool because I've had other Let's Players. Is, you know, I do not have a massively popular channel with a huge audience, but still I've had people just kind of sneak in these little hints. I Let's Play. Whether they wanted me to watch their videos, which if somebody comments enough, I'll usually check them out just to be polite or what. But Polar Dash was not doing that. He's just like... Happened to be, he happens to be a Let's Player who's watching my shit and never like dropped hints that people who are reading these comments should be checking his channel out. So I'll do one for him. Anyway, that means that I haven't actually watched your videos, Polar Dash, just being straight with you. I'd, I'd queued up uh, Let's Play Willow as something I might check out when I've got time, but then um, fell asleep because of chemo sickness. <laughs> so who knows? I may or may not get around to checking some of that content out. Anyway, I've done uh, quite a bit of off-screening. That's the other thing that, that brought Polar Dash to mind. We had, like, the... He was... He, I, I wasn't quite sure what you were getting at, friend, and, and I'm not offended one way or the other, but he was talking about how, well, I mean, it's not a whole, there's not a whole lot of point of off-screening all this stuff because, you know, if you were... Um, what is the thing that people do? If you were streaming this game, we'd be seeing all this stuff you're doing, running around, fighting enemies, just bullshitting around, and, uh, you know, I wasn't quite sure what he was getting at other than the fact that I... But I do tend to just uh, play games where I can do some grindy stuff off screen. Um, so I've done, I have done a bit of that. In this game, some of the grindy stuff actually has elements where it's worth seeing, but what I did uh, is just go around fighting. And you can see I have less money than I did when I started because I've spent some of it. I got a somewhat better gear. So gear-wise, I went to one of the fancier... Oh, and I've got... Um, I got Psycho in her dominatrix garb. I actually spent most of my time off screen with her. Well, no, probably the dominate the what is it called, the uh, Night Queen. Probably most of her time spent as a Night Queen. Now that I think about it, because of my last bit of grinding while watching TV on the other monitor. But uh, before that, I was grinding with her as a. Uh, it's not called Songstress. What the hell is it? Um. Idle. That's what it is. The idle job. Um, I can't get her to be a matriarch, which is probably the best overall class for her as far as stats and being powerful, I think. Well, she'll lose stats when she first switches to it because she's level 9 in this job. And some of the... Uh, see, I didn't realize these stats would go back and forth. I thought she was earning core stats. But in fact, right now, she's got her best physical stats as a Night Queen because she's at level 9. She's only at level 8 as an Idol. But Idol is basically the White Mage job. And even though I hate to play into the archetype of, oh, the girl, you got one girl in your party and she's the healer, that's kind of what they've given us. And it's a game that is not a parody, but it's almost like a modern setting homage to classic RPGs. I, I don't see any other path they could have gone. If they were going to give you one main female party member and the ability to unlock another one later... They're, they're going to set it up so that she would make a good white mage. The starting bar mage job, although in fairness, this isn't really a white mage. Because she has no no ability to heal other people. Powder puff press. Yeah, she doesn't have anything that heals other people. She was more like a a buffer, a buffing character. Um, so, like, in, in that sense, her default isn't that. But, yeah, like, any... Her, her best class is pretty clearly idle. Night Queen is a, not a terrible offensive class, and most of her attacks have an ability to... Uh, the status is Brainwash. It doesn't make the enemies confused and attack random targets. They will only attack targets hostile to you as long as that status effect stays on, but it's, you know, usually only stays on a few turns. And if you... If they get attacked by one of your characters, it wears off. But it's quite handy in these group battles. Um... If you just find the most dangerous of their targets and brainwash them, the battle goes very smoothly after that, usually. Um, but anyway, 
uh, I was going to talk about equipment. I'll talk about people's jobs. I turned Nanba into a the, mu the musician job because it's also a healer. Like his, he's very much a mage class, and his homeless guy is the best healer we have right now. Although Psycho will be a better healer if I eventually get her back to her songstress, whatever idol class. But um, musician is the kind of like the male healer class, so I've got him doing that just for variety. But really, I should finish out his homeless guy path before I do anything else with them. The main thing I don't like about the musician path, it's a lot of fun to look at visually, um, and he hits enemies with the guitar, and I can do the honky -monk, tonky tonk man song in my head, but the main problem is he doesn't have I probably could find him weapons with this uh, status, but he doesn't have weapons that g automatically give him MP when he attacks because that's what was making it very easy to use the homeless guy class. Like I could cast spells as long as I didn't go five, six, seven turns in a row always casting, uh, he was usually able to kind of keep up by getting two or three just melees in. Um, and right now, he's got a good MP stock and good spells, but he doesn't have quite as much ability to just keep using them in indefinitely without me needing any items to restore his MP. We still got uh, Koichi in this job, and the main thing I did with Ichiban is I took a second to put him into the foreman job because he already starts with Exploration Ability Demolish, which I haven't come across anything where I can use that, but I was told by various online resources, make sure you do that. You don't even have to have him fight a battle. Just switch to the job and switch back out, and he'll get those characteristics. And that is what I have done. Gear-wise, I went to... I went various places, bought gear. I probably need to start selling some stuff I don't need. But there's a what seemed like the fanciest uh, place to buy gear on the map right now. Although I guess I didn't come to Kapo Kasumi. Where did I go? I went to uh, La Chatte Branche. And uh, while re reading up on the best weapons for each class, I found out a few of them. The best weapons for each class work kind of kind of funny. You have to get one weapon and you have to uh, level it up through... Not hello work. Through... Um, romance workshop, the place where we're, we have to donate money so that they can upgrade their facilities and then they can do more and more upgrades. You have to get a base weapon, upgrade it to the max through that, and then combine it with another weapon. And some of the weapons that you need to use are the only way to acquire them is, and they cost millions of yen, and they're at La Chat Blanche, so you're not meant to be able to use them until probably late game. Uh, and by that time, I guess money's no longer a problem because of the business management side game we haven't gotten into yet. But I bought, I bought armor from up here, because they have lots of really expensive weapons, but the armor wasn't nearly as expensive, and I figured it was probably pretty good. So everybody now is using um, pretty similar armor. Uh, they're wearing soft hats, which are giving better defense. Some of the... The hat we were using before gave us more things, but this is just giving us more raw defense, long coat. Hard leather boots are what we had. I didn't upgrade those. Um, we still got maximum mittens. He's got stuff. Mysterious move. Help you work. Have any impact? How does he use victory through combat? So he's got the greatly decreases MP cost. That's the other reason it's easier for him to cast than it is for her. But uh, I'm not finding lots of accessories hanging around that are just easy to pillage. I wanted to do some recording, though, because I keep finding, like, opportunities for group conversations, and I have to skip them because I don't want to, like, have you guys missing stuff. But I did quite a bit of walking around, fighting people. When I had an idol and a singer in the party, I could usually, as long as I saved between battles in case something went wrong, I could usually fight continuously, even up here. Enemies are far more difficult up here than they are in, down here, because the plot hasn't actually asked us to go here yet. It's letting us get to an area of the game that's, I guess, story-wise, is beyond where we need to be. But uh, without two healers, I can't really cut it up here. Uh, I can fight and then eat a meal at the Cecil Cafe and then fight again. And that was what I was mainly doing to get grinded up. Because we are now, everybody is at, like over level 20. And, um, and you can also see if this is of interest to you. Um, you can kind of tell how long it takes to grind up jobs at higher levels because... Uh, Koichi was a, a detective, or he's now level, I guess, 8. And I switched him to 
Enforcer, where he's now, like, level 10. But with her, I've been developing... Oh, I guess I can see it on this screen. Yeah, so his Detective is level 9, his Enforcer is level 10. With Psycho, she's got 9, 8, and 9. So you can really see... That he's, uh... He's only got a combined level of 19... She's actually got a higher combined job levels, 9 plus 9 plus 8, but, like, it really starts to take more job points to move past 8 and 9. Like, it's it's a pretty sh steep curve. I'm surprised she's actually has two things at 9 and one thing at 8, because it really seemed... But it's going to take her forever to get from 9 to 10, and it took him... So that, like, she... Like, what I'm trying to get at in an extremely clumsy way is that she rose, like, 7 or 8 levels... Uh, in a new job, whereas he is just like scraping from eight to nine to ten while that was happening. So, you know, you can really spread your time out in different jobs if you want and and get the first few levels. The real issue is always, I see, he, he could be uh, the kiss demon at this point, but um, the issue is always the only skills you're going to carry over when you switch from one job to another are the red skills. So if you've got a skill that's only a few levels in that's red, maybe it's worth doing. And actually for him, Devil Rocker might be a good idea because the, he has a, a vampirism attack, which sounds pretty neat. But yeah, if uh, like for this job, the first thing that you can bring with you is, is at level 16. So you'd have to commit to the foreman job before you'd really get anything out of it that you would still retain if you went to some other job. Anyway. I'm going to keep her as a dominatrix for now because I feel like I was having some trouble up with the enemies up here, but I'm thinking once we get back to the main story, like, I'm probably over-leveled and we won't really be in a state where we need more healers. So I'll switch her back to being a healer when it's kind of necessary, or if she learns all the skills that she can carry over, whichever comes first, because uh, even though... Dominatrix or Night Queen job is kind of fun, but I don't I don't know that I need to max it out, or at least it wouldn't be the first job for her that you would max out. I can get to, if I get her to level 16 and learn both of her skills that she can carry over, because she has Somersault Leg, which she can carry over now. If I get her to 16, I can probably say, okay, now that she's at 16, uh, I haven't learned all of the skills I can learn, but I've learned all of the ones that will carry over to other jobs. So that's when it might be time. By then, it might be time to switch to Matriarch or switch back to Idol. Whatever. Now that I spent half of the video catching you up, um, we're just going to kind of wander for a while, try to capture some of the dialogues that I missed. And I want to do some of these um, Hero Quest quests because let's just quick show you what what they're like now in their new, their new uh, setup. So she will almost always go first. She's almost out of healing points. I'll save uh, her specials for a battle where they might be more useful. And honestly, you can switch. I was thinking I might switch her to the funeral dress. So she's dressed like in a suit. Because it's called funeral outfit, but it's really just a dark colored suit. Having her in a, like a regular suit rather than in the fetish outfit. She'd still be doing like sexy dominatrix moves if that's your thing. But she'd look a little less ridiculous. Might be more kinky for some people. And I probably should really be switching Nanda back to homeless guy and let him uh, let him get back to musician once homeless guy is more or less finished up. Who the hell are you, yo pups? What are you doing? What do you want from me? We want Crown Royal. You can tell him on my jacket. Come on, man. I'm with the Swedish Army. We just need a teeny tiny bit of money for our allowance. So this guy's been waiting days now for he, us to get here, but... Jin Saison asked me to get some nails. Those will work. Oh, neat! We've been getting nails, but they weren't plot nails, I guess. The hell? What are you looking at, old man? You, are you taking a look at my life? You think I'm a lot like you are? No. Nah, I got nothing. I just thought I'd see if I could take some of those nails off your hands. Uh -huh. uh, oh, maybe this isn't a hero quest... Thing. What the fuck are you talking about? Come on, guys. Let's kill this clown. Yeah, I was going to just do the hero quest stuff. He does look weak. Alright, so for example, this is the somersault leg. This is this can be area of effect. 
Although in that case it wasn't. And it can confuse and it can turn them hostile to their own friends, which it that didn't work this time either. Now my elbow smash will finish Hogan guaranteed. <laughs> and he drops the elbow. So these guys, even though we couldn't finish that guy off on the first turn, their damage they're dealing indicates we should have dealt with this quest a long time ago. Oh, he just took our defense down. Well, that sucks. She's almost out of MPs, which is unfortunate, because I'm not going to be able to show off her cool dominatrix skills. So I probably need to just, like, actually, at some point, find a chance to get to the homeless camp and get our MPs back. He just did get stomped, didn't he? Well, it looks like his thugs were like one-shot enemies. It's just he was the boss of that little group. But yeah, I honestly, the, the, what I need to be doing is advancing the plot until we get to the... And I think it might be this chapter where we get to the side game that gives you the monies. So I want to try that again. No oh, thanks, we've had enough. We're sorry. We'll just disappear and so will the guy that you were trying to help. Well, thank you so much for saving me like that. How can I ever repay you? The money would be the thing. Don't worry about it. This is all I need. I guess this wasn't uh, a hero quest quest. I thought it was. All right. I mean, all right, got the nails. Got the Brutalex Convict nails. You got monster. Okay, got wooden nails. Now to meet Jinsai san south of Sakura River Street. It was marked as a side story, not as. Uh, okay, so Hero's Quest would be these little icons. I got you. Yeah, I mean, all this stuff is, is you know, explained reasonably well if you go into the tips and whatever. I just. Uh, I don't know, I always pay that much attention. I'm usually talking, trying to be funny. Ruining the game for people who would rather be watching a com vid. Oh, I also. Um, Oh, that's good to know, Psycho. I think you're Psycho who said that. I also uh, upgraded uh, Wapits for a few people. I didn't really want to go buying fancy Wapits. I want to save up money. Like, the Wapit she would need if I kept her in this job to get the ultimate Wapit is available for sale at the sex shop, but it costs more money than we've... If I hadn't made that donation to the store, the uh, romance place, and if I hadn't bought any other equipment, we might have just saved up enough money to buy that if I had never bought any other equipment ever from fighting and stuff. Uh, but instead, she still got her default Wapit. And he... Did I upgrade this once? No, I thought I upgraded his too. All-purpose shield. It's an all-purpose shield plus one, I thought. I thought I upgraded everybody's stuff. He's got self-proclaimed heroes bat too. These guys just have all-purpose shield. Oh, I think I know what I did. Oh, I'm such a dummy. I think I upgraded their web their their um I think in the other jobs. Yeah, I have now a carbon police baton plus one because I forgot he's not in that job anymore. Right, doofus. And a rugged cane plus one. So when they go back to their default jobs at some point. Carbon Batiste Police Baton plus one probably wasn't worth doing. I'm silly. I upgraded the Wapits and then didn't re didn't realize, oh, that's not the class either of them are in right now. But the main thing is um, Kasuga is using the weapon that will eventually upgrade into his best possible weapon. So I went ahead and upgraded it twice. All right, let's just do some side quests then. Uh, hero quests, side quests, or other side quests, whatever comes up. And what I could do... Yeah, I'm right here by Hello Work. Let's uh, let's do something here. Hmm? Let's get 10 yen. That'll change everything. Let's go talk to her. First of all, let's, let's chat with her. I don't think I've chatted with her. I bet I could get a conversation going if I were more assertive. Confidence level 4. Uh, apparently I don't have enough confidence to talk to this lady. Well, since I got him a new Wapit, I could take him back to being a detective. What do you think? But his detective skill... Oh, it's level 22 to get Grand Helm Splitter. I like detective. Enforcer apparently has the best stats. What I like about detective is that uh, he's got the counter thing, which is what I kind of thought would be great for 
our uh, sentinel type character, but apparently he doesn't get one as an enforcer. I guess I'll keep him as an enforcer. We'll just take your time. But we might have him go back to being a homeless guy, so that he's getting uh, MPs back from his wapit. And I'll just keep him in his normal homeless guy outfit. And um, Psycho, I think I'll keep her in this job. But I might give her the um, special co no, the special costume sucks. Yeah, I'm just gonna like dress her as a normal person. And have her going around kicking people in the balls and hitting people with a riding crop for a while. See how that goes. And uh, they don't actually have their outfits um, when we're walking around. Like when we see Psycho, she'll be wearing her regular white, uh, yeah, her barmaid clothes. She doesn't even look like what she wears when she's tending bar. It just looks like what she's wearing walking around when she's not working, whatever. But yeah, that's what she'll, she'll be wearing. And then when they go into combat, they kind of transform the way enemies do. I think it's interesting that Kasu um, there's kind of a Don Quixote thing going on in this game. It's not quite as overt, but uh, Ichiban, fun character. I like him a lot. He's clearly, you know, got mental issues. Because he is, he is like, twisting the world around him into a video game in a, in a kind of a Don Quixote tilting at windmill sort of way. Which is nice, because the only other video game reference to Don Quixote I can think of is that um, the goofy, undead-looking pirate guy who's the father to the super busty, ridiculous dominatrix lady in the um, whichever games they are. The oh god, uh, Soul Calibur. Yeah, his name is Cervantes. That's the only reference to Don Quixote I'm aware of in video games. And I don't think this is meant to be referencing Don Quixote, but it has that feel. So let's just wander around in this part of the map, finding, like, conversations. And let's hit the pawn shop and sell some shit, because now I've got a bunch of old gear I don't need anymore. I don't think it's going to be worth a lot. And actually, I don't even want to sell too much... I only have two iron plates. I thought I had more stuff than this to sell. I don't even want to sell too much of this stuff because um, you never know what you're going to need as a crafting recipe. I thought I had more plates that I'd acquired. Scalp D. Improve your style. Okay. I only have two iron plates. I thought I'd picked up more plates along the way. They're the only thing I know of whose main purpose is just to be sold. I'll be fine. Psycho, I don't know why you keep saying that. I'm not... I, it's it's nice that you're going to be fine, but I don't think anybody was worried you weren't going to be fine. So personality has permanently been improved by Scalp D. I don't know of a... Okay, I don't know of anything else we were supposed to do with that, so hopefully I'm not going to come to regret that for some reason. Well, I guess I'll show off her heel stomp just so you have chances. But this won't... That would have a chance to turn him to our side temporarily, except that he got one-shotted, which I kind of knew he would. Now he's got the improved uh, umbrella, apparently. I didn't... The thing is, I, I upgraded my weapons right around the time I stopped doing anything to, um... Let's see what's going on over here. Is this the kid talking about Kappa? Hey, have you heard about the Kappas? Okay, who doesn't love Kappas? Right, okay, never mind, so that's not really new. Um... Yeah, whatever. Murder you guys. Big time. So she's just going around wearing a suit, but carrying a uh, riding crop with her, which she hits people in the face with. Like, if she had some kind of retractable riding crop she could carry in a purse, like, you wouldn't even know that she was 
you know, whatever it is she is. <laughs> I'm mostly doing this because, um, I guess you get hero quest points for advancing that little sideline. Are you the guy? Yeah, I think you are. Here are some hey. items. I acquired 800 pieces of wood and 800 nails along the way, but these are the two that actually count. Here are the wooden nails you asked for. You're going to have to pull the nails out, though. What do you mean, pull them out? Yeah, you kind of need a claw hammer to do that. It's not really going to be practical to just do that with your fingers. Huh? You got wooden nails like that? Well, you said you didn't have any money, so... <laughs> uh, see, so this is what it means to pull, put thought into something. I've never done that before and had no idea what the concept was. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, nothing. You should, you really, you just really thought outside the box is all. Eh, it's no big deal. Anyway, let's build that bookshelf. Meanwhile, Nanba and... What that, whatever his name is, cop guy and psycho, just kind of watch. Hey, hold on! Don't put so much force into it. Ah, uh, the board split. No sweat. There's plenty. Of cat's pretty chill with all this, and here comes another cat. Cat are cats do not look as realistic as the humans do. At least when you can see their faces. Humans aren't exactly photorealistic either. They're kind of stylized a little bit, but... It's done. I'd say we got ourselves a bookshelf. Well, that's the hard part done. Now all you got to do is give it to him. It's not really that impressive a bookshelf. I, I thought they were talking like full-fledged, like, you know, multi-tier bookshelf you'd put on a wall. Ma, you really think you'd be happy with a bookshelf made by an old bum like me? He might just throw it out at the end. Well, as long as he doesn't throw it out in front of you. Look, you've come this far, so why get cold feet now? Worrying's not going to change anything. Why, there he is right now. What do you know? Gary Spy for the Psychic Companions Network. What are you doing here? Aww. Oh. Shotoku. What's wrong, mister? Are you okay? Is this guy threatening you? I'll take his ass out. Oh. Who are you? Yeah. My name's Kasuga, yeah. But don't worry about me, yeah. The old man's got something to tell you, yeah. Huh? huh? Me? Hmm. I heard it was your birthday. Do 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 they say it's your birthday. Do 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 so I built a bookshelf for you. Do 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 You told me you like books. Do 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 I hope that you like it. Birthday sorry. But when I have a weird association between that song and the sequence in Sailor Moon R, or is it S, where Chibi Usa is being like brainwashed by an evil wizard to think that the Sailor Scouts forgot her birthday, which is all it takes to turn her into an evil villain for several episodes. But like, yeah, magical powers, brainwashing her into thinking her birthday was forgotten and no one loves her, turned her evil. So we associate that with the song. Birthday, would you give me a chance? <laughs> Birthday, would you get up and dance? Or whatever the actual words are. Arigato. Arigato you remembered what I like that I like to read. You remember that I enjoy wooden things. <laughs> this is incredible. I'll cherish it forever. Aww. I remember when I bought my niece uh, a book <laughs> for Christmas one year. And she opened the present, and her mom asked her, what is it? And it's not the only present I got her for Christmas that year, but what is it? And she said, it's a dumb book, because she's like five. And I was like, what the fuck am I thinking, buying a five-year-old a book? I mean, it was a good book. It was a good kid's book. She likes it now. But yeah, that was, like, it's a dumb book. And I, I just remember my, my sister forcing her to come apologize to me later, and I was like, you know, was was nice to my niece about it, but then I laughed afterwards and was like, she didn't need to apologize to me. She's a five year old. Somebody bought her a book as a gift. <laughs> she reacted entirely appropriately. Then I'd say it was worth the effort. I mean really? If you're happy I'd say it was worth the effort. What effort? You went out and bought this, right? I mean you're a normal person who would buy something like this with money. I guess if I was a kid I would assume he found it. Because he's a bum. <laughs> Kasuga-san, thanks for helping me out. I just wish I had a way to pay you back. I don't worry, I'll get style points or something. 
Kindness points, probably. It'll, it'll all work out. <laughs> you don't have to do that. In fact, I'm in a pretty good mood, so why don't we go get some grub? Huh? But... You sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Let's see. How's Isazaki Road sound? <sighs> Sounds good to me. I don't even know what that is, but I'm a bum, so, you know, free food. I'll go get ready. Why don't we go? Yeah, sure thing. I guess the quest's not done. We gotta go back and eat first. And who's this mysterious figure watching us? Man in a suit. Oh, is this gonna be the bum's real son or something? So this quest is not over yet, apparently. Substory of bum who wanted us to build the bookcases. Not over. I was pretty sure this was going to be it for that quest, but it is not the case. Anyway, folks, we're going to call it a video there. When we come back next time, yeah, I'm just kind of freeform of stuff right now. I was wandering around, missing all these little chance events and stuff, or not being able to do them because I wasn't on screen. So I figured we would just spend a little time doing that, and then probably either... I found where go-kart racing is. We can ex we appear to be able to access it right now. Although the story hasn't sent us in that direction. I'm sure that if you play through the main story, you will be sent to go-kart racing once and then never forced to return if you don't want to. I would I would bet money on that, probably. But um, could be wrong, so I wouldn't bet like lots of money. <laughs> but I'm assuming like, but it's there. I found the icon for it. I'm pretty sure we can trigger that any time we want. But actually, when we get back to the main story, I don't think we're too far away from the business management game. And it feels like that's something you really need to be doing if you want to actually be able to afford to buy good gear. Metal Gear. So we'll find out more about Metal Gear next time. Nanomachine.